All right, today we're going in depth on three of the most common barbell squat variations and the techniques you can use to get even more growth out of them. Also how to warm up and prime those legs properly. They'll increase your flexibility, make you feel more confident, but also put a little size on because it sucks. Let's get after it. So traditionally, when you see people warm themselves up for squats, they're in a constant balancing act between making sure their flexibility is on point, the range of motion is there, they feel comfortable, confident in the movement, but also not overexerting themselves because strength is the name of the game for them. So they have to be very precise about working themselves up to the exact weight they want to hit. But when you train like us, that's not the case. All you have to do is fuck yourself up to the point that it allows you to yourself up even more. So we can steal from physical therapists and take an exercise that's often used in a clinical setting for people with various knee issues and use it to not only ease into squatting with some serious depth, but also use it for exactly what it is, an exercise and kick our own ass with it. And the actual name of this exercise escapes me, but I know it was something Spanish and the last thing I want to do is be insensitive. So let's just play it safe and call it the Dirty Sanchez. And there's two separate variations I want you to try because they both have their own unique benefits. The first one is you wrap that band around and put one foot into each loop Nice part about this one is it feels a little bit more equal as far as the tension is concerned, a little bit more stable as you're doing the movement, but also it's a little better contraction as you're coming up and kicking those knees back. The second one is you're gonna wrap that band around, tie it into a knot, and then step into one giant loop. Benefit here is it's gonna put pressure on those knees. So you have to actively drive those knees out, which is gonna warm up those abductor muscles, those glutes, and anybody who has an issue as you squat, you feel like those knees are starting to cave in on you, this is a great warm up for you, but anybody who doesn't have that issue, it's just a nice reminder of how you're supposed to be squatting. And here's three important tips no matter what variation you use. First, before you even start, make sure you got tension on that band. Second, make sure that back's nice and tall as you go down. So get those arms involved. And then as you come up, don't just stand straight up, actually drive those knees back and then flex those quads as hard as you can. And you should immediately get an aha moment because after that first rep, you realize there's no pain in your knees, these feel great. A few more reps in and you're warmed up. And then you know, if you go any further, it's gonna hurt like hell. And that's where the light bulb goes off and you realize if I do three or four sets of these to failure, my life's gonna suck. All right, let's start with everybody's favorite, the high bar squat. And the question comes up, is there a certain type of shoe I should wear? Should I go barefoot? And really it's just a matter of what kind of squat you're doing and how bad your fucking feet stink. Because for me, I like to do traditional squats where my feet are flat on the ground in nothing but socks. Because those toes gripping the floor act as a kinesthetic trigger to remind me to drive those knees out. But if you're gonna do a variation like I'm about to show where your heels are on a plate, then you're gonna wanna wear some shoes. And I've talked about elevating those heels as a way to instantly improve your range of motion while you simultaneously work on your ankle flexibility. That way you're not wasting any time and you're not limited with your ability to squat. But this is a little different. We're pushing it to the extreme because we're gonna put those feet all the way together. We're gonna drive those knees together. We're gonna do 15 reps with those feet nice and close. And then we're gonna open up those toes, bringing that vastus medialis a little bit. So we start by hitting that vastus lateralis outside of your quad. Then we open them up, we hit that vastus medialis, just tear the entire quad up for 30 reps total, but 15 and 15 each. All right, next up, we're going over a variation of low bar squats, which I'm sure some of you have done before, but for some reason, I never had. Until one day I wanted to squat and I wanted those squats to be really glute dominant because the last thing I wanna have happen is to get old and my farts leak out of me because my little pancake ass can't trap them anymore. If I'm gonna get old and I'm gonna fart, it's gonna be deliberate. I'm gonna aim. So you're gonna set it up exactly like a low bar squat, but instead of going straight up and down, you're gonna hinge at the hips like a good morning. And as you drive up, you open those knees out even more. And last, but certainly not least, the front squat. Now the tip on these is to actually do them because we all avoid them. Nobody wants to get choked out and walk away looking like a battered husband, but they're a phenomenal exercise, especially for somebody who does them in the traditional way where your feet are fairly close together. If you widen those feet out and set up like a sumo squat, you might find you actually love this exercise and you love being choked out. And one quick note, if you're somebody that crosses those arms for your front squat and you hold it on your delts, but you find as you get tired, that bar rolls forward, becomes a completely different squat. What you should do is throw two fingers on the bar and set up by driving those elbows up. And obviously you're not gonna be able to flex those fingers back right away. But if you do it 10, 15 times, you'll feel more comfortable. Then go into actually picking it up another 10, 15 times. And you'll find that it becomes a more comfortable position right away. And this is coming for somebody that hasn't touched their back in years. so. It works. And if you haven't got a chance to check out the program, I'll leave a link in the description. It's 30 days, it's 20 videos, it's 20 bucks. Pretty damn simple. And if you haven't watched these videos, I'd watch these next, but most importantly, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.